All right, guys, well, I just wanted to show everybody what I picked up here, so I'm going to go ahead and open the box and get right into it. We'll start talking about it. Uh, I hadn't seen one of, the, one of these before, and I don't know how many batches or how many runs of these that, that Glock has done, but uh, this is the Lipsy's Full Flat Dark Earth Glock. Now, this might not be something that's for everyone. Uh, a lot of people like the two-tone with the Flat Dark Earth and the black, but for me, um, it's something a little unique. Out of the <laughs> out of the truckloads of black guns I have had or silver, it's something that's new, unique, and it's something that uh, that caught my eye. And I said, you know what? Hey, I want to do this. So let's talk about this gun. Um, I, I got some really cool stuff, guys, in this video. So so just sit back and relax. Um, I got uh, an an upgrade I'm going to do to this gun that I'm going to show you after I do it. Um, I'm going to talk about. Uh, some of the different things with this gun. I'm gonna I'm gonna do a color comparison to another flat dark earth handgun. So I'm really excited, really happy to make this video. So uh, what do you say we continue on and let's talk about it? Okay, this gun is clear. I know it's clear. Um, has not even ever been loaded yet. So like I said, this is Ellipses uh, Special Edition Gen 4 Flat Dark Earth uh, Full Flat Dark Earth Glock. Now, there was three of them at the gun store when I got this one, and I got to pick through all three. And one thing that I did notice when I picked through these, <laughs> for some weird mystical reason, maybe it's a coincidence, maybe not, all three of the dust covers were perfectly straight. Normally, you know, sometimes a Glock dust cover will turn up on you at the end. So I was kind of looking at that when I was going through these, you know, looking at finish, looking at that, all three dust covers were perfectly straight. So maybe Glock's doing something differently. Uh, maybe that's just the way it is. Now, I'm going to give you some close-ups later. So, you know, don't worry about that right now. I will give you some pretty extreme close-ups uh, once we get further into the video. So let me go ahead and break this gun down because uh, there's a couple of points that I want to talk to you about with this gun. It's something I didn't think of before, but it's really cool. Like I said, this is a Gen 4. It has your back straps. It comes with three 17 round mags. Uh, there's no back strap added on there yet. And um, this does have the um, more aggressive type stippling. I like that. And I just, I really like it. So let's go ahead and break this down. And I'm going to go over a couple of things with you that you might not have uh, thought of or realized or anything before. Okay, first of all, if you notice how this frame is the same color on the inside, well, there's a reason for that. That's because this flat dark earth frame is not dyed or painted. This is actual, this is the actual color of the polymer that Glock uses uh, to make this polymer lower. So it's not a dyed, it's not a, the raw polymer that they started with was not black. It was this flat dark earth color. So almost everybody has flat dark earth colors that vary. Um, there's several different shades of flat dark earth. Um, it's hard to get a polymer and a flat dark, it's hard to get a flat dark earth polymer on polymer and a flat dark earth on steel that line up uh to a perfect spec because it's going on two different types of materials. So, Glock starts with the raw flat dark earth polymer, molds the lower, then the lower is sent to a company that does the best they can do uh, by doing a matching process to get it to where that when the when the flat dark earth Cerakote is sprayed on steel, which is the slide, that it will match as close as possible to the polymer that it rests on. Like I said, you can never Cerakote a material and have it come out to the exact color of a different material. Okay? Because this is not Cerakoted. This is raw flat dark earth polymer. But at any rate... You can't perfectly mimic it, but it's close. I will say that. This does have the new upgraded uh, the Gen 4 recoil spring, which doesn't matter to me either way. Um, 
you know, not enough to make a difference at any rate. But I really like this, guys. Um, the Cerakote jobs on the three I looked through were really good. Um, by the way, I want to give a shout-out because um, I got this at Fin Feather and Fur. And uh, I forget your name, but I'm sure you know who I'm talking about. Uh, there's a there's somebody up there that watches my videos. I forget his name. I'll mention it another time. And uh, and uh, I've been talking with him when I go up there. But um, I got this at Fin Feather and Fur. And the Cerakote job is really nice. It's really the lettering's really crisp. Uh, on one of the guns, the only thing I found of these three brand new ones that I looked through, one of the guns where it said Gen 4, it was kind of a little bit too filled in with Cerakote, and it kind of just like how can I say this? The lettering wasn't perfectly square. The perf what well, didn't look perfectly cut, clean cuts. Okay, it looked like there was a little bit too much Cerakote in the fine part where it says Gen 4. And, I mean, that's just something tiny. I never even would have cared if I didn't have three to pick through. But since I had three to pick through um, that my friend up there let me look through, I actually got to, you know, um, get the cream of the crop, so to speak. This one had never been in a, in a, in a dealer's case. It had never been on a shelf. Okay, it basically came straight from... The distributor, after it was made at Glock and sent to the distributor, then it was sent to Fin, Feather, and Fur, and this never went into a case anywhere. So let me go ahead and put this back together, guys. Um, I'm really excited. I'm going to show you an upgrade I'm going to do to it right now. The first upgrade, because there's other things that I want to do to it. Uh, one big one big one is uh, Night Sights, uh, Trijicon HDs with the orange in the front, and, uh, you know, standard back with the with a tritium in it, but I want the orange front HDs. I think it'll really pop on this color gun. I think it's gonna be so sweet, guys. I'm so excited. Okay, this is the first upgrade I bought for this gun. And what these are is the Vickers Tactical, um, Vickers Tactical magazine floor plates. And what they do is they give you width uh, to the magazine base plate so that you have something to grab onto. Uh, if you're changing mags, you have something to grab onto on your new mag that you want to reload. If, for whatever reason, <laughs> I've never really had it happen, but if you did have a double feed in a Glock, which I've never had happen, you could rip the mag out much easier and under stress with these wider uh, base plates. So let me give you a quick comparison before I turn the camera off and put them on, and then I'm going to get back with you and show you them actually in a gun. I like them, guys. And let's talk about price, too, real quick. These aren't bad at all. You know, uh, a lot of stuff with this name brand stuff is expensive. Uh, five of these Vicar Tactical base plates um, are uh, 17 to $23 shipped on eBay all day. Brand new. Now, they don't add any capacity, but they just, they just add width to the magazine right here with uh, grooved cutouts for you to get into. Now, the Vickers Edition Glocks have these. And that's where I got the idea from. And you can get these in black or another cut, you know, no, I think just black and tan, I think maybe OD. So basically you're just taking off the base plate and there's a piece under there you're holding captive and you're sliding this on. I'm going to cut the camera. I'm going to put these base plates on and uh, we'll take a look at it together. And I'll get you some nice, clean uh, close-ups of this guy. Okay, guys, just a couple of minutes to get these on. No big deal at all. Very easy, very simple. Um, I did break the rules. <laughs> it says big on here, warning to be installed by a professional gunsmith only, exclamation point. So we won't tell anyone, and uh, I won't say anything if you won't. <laughs> so here we go. Okay, so here's the Glock. Let's go ahead and let's get a uh, mag in there. I got a couple other things to tell you guys, so stay tuned. I'm going to compare this to another flat dark earth gun. I'm going to give you close-ups. So here's what you're working with. Let me stand up and uh, let me get you a better close-up of this right here. So any of you that are thinking about buying this, I'm going to show you what it adds to the side. Most videos of this does not show that. Let me get a little bit of light up on the occasion, on the situation. Okay, so basically, there's the extra that you're dealing with. Nothing in the front, nothing in the rear. What you're dealing with is, man, this provides a good handhold. Drop it down a little bit. Show you from this point of view. You know, I've heard someone saying that they carried their gun with this, and they 
I actually took sandpaper or something and and uh, smoothed this down and made it lower. It'll, uh, <laughs> it's not going to be an issue with me. I can guarantee you that. If you're going to carry this guy concealed, I don't see that as being an issue whatsoever. So there it is. Boom. So man, you really can. F I mean, you can get clear up on the first knuckle and your finger on the other side. You can really, really grab. I mean, this really grabs compared to the uh, standard base blade here. But I don't. I don't think it's too obtrusive. You know, I mean, I don't think it sticks out too far at all. But it's the the. It feels good. It feels grippy. The serrations. Um, they're nice cut. Uh, they feel like they have a. It's almost like jimping on a knife. Like you can feel it. Um, very sharp, clean cut serrations on that magazine. Yeah, you could really. And plus, getting out your spares. If you have a spare carrier, um, if you were in a stressful situation, I could really see somebody having a way better lock on these and not ever worrying about dropping one if that were to happen. Okay, let me move on, guys. I got a lot of ground to cover here and a short time to do it. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to compare this to another flat dark earth gun. Remember me telling you that not all flat dark, dark earths are created equal? Okay, so here is one Bowie Custom Tactical uh, Smith & Wesson m and This is like fully customized out by Bowie from Bowie Tactical Concepts. I saw a video with Larry Vickers where he was showing some Glocks and they had this stippling and he said that all his guns are done by his good friend David Bowie. Um, I had no idea about this. It just gives me more confidence in it that uh, Larry Vickers actually sends his gun to David Bowie to do the work on him and the stippling. So, so they're Let's compare these two. Um, you know what? They're whew, they're actually closer than what I thought. In person, this is more of a subdued. Um, I mean, it's hard to explain. This Glock has more of a matte sheen to it. Where this, I don't know how well it's coming in on camera. Whereas of this one has more of almost like going toward a semi-gloss, if that makes sense. This is more like the... This is more like the non-glitter flat black that Glock has. It's almost like a, it's almost like a chalky looking FDE. And this seems to have a, just a hair of a sheen to it. Now it could be because um, this has been treated with frog lube approximately three to four times full treatments of heating, doing the entire gun, letting it sit, wiping it down. Uh, this has about, probably about 700 to 750 rounds through it right now. This Bowie uh, Custom. It's got the XL, or the X5L from Viridian. Sweet, sweet stuff. Loving that. But anywho, um, I gotta get something for this one too. So, let me go ahead and stand up again. And we'll take a look at these. Um, so here's the two flat dark earths. I want to compare colors. Like I said, this is the only thing I can say. That the main difference I can say in person, I, on camera, this doesn't seem to look true to, true to what it does in life to me. Uh, but the main thing I can say in person is it's very similar, but this is just a little bit duller. And uh, I'm going to be honest with you. Um, if I if I if I was to choose, I like the now this is factory, the M and P, Smith and Wesson M and P. I like the flat dark earth on its slide a little more than I do the one on the Glock. Still love the Glock, <laughs> but the, if I had to pick, it would be this one. Check out those sights, guys. Yeah, I got to show this off, right? So anywho, so there is that. Um, the base plates, first time trying them, I am going to give them a five. Uh, five. I'm going to go ahead and give those base plates, I'll give them a nine on a one to ten. 
I'll go ahead and give them a nine. They seem to match pretty well. Uh, they look good. They're easy to put on. Uh, what else do I need to tell or show you guys? Okay, I'm I'm forgetting things here. Um, price where I got mine, if you want to know, six oh nine before tax for that um, G seventeen FD full FDE Lipsies. So six oh nine before tax, and uh, I'm very happy with it. Oh, I know what I was going to do. I need to give you guys some close-ups. Guys, when you film and you're doing things right off the cuff, trust me, it's not as easy as just standing in front of your friend and talking to him about your new gun. So, you know, bear with me. Now I'm going to get you some nice close-ups. Hopefully they're bright and come out good. How's this? We're just going to look over the Cerakote. Look how nice and cleanly cut all the letters look. Um, even though they're not cut, the Cerakote was laid over top. And for those of you that don't know, Cerakote is a very, very durable, one of the most durable firearm finishes that's on the market today is Cerakote. It, it blows Duracote out of the water. It can't even, Duracote can't even, uh, can't even be in the same contest uh, with Cerakote. got a couple more surprises for you guys too I just I really like this guys it's it's just it appealed to me you know it's not for everyone it has that bigger uh, uh, mag release button D doesn't really matter to me it's on the gen 4s um, I'll probably put the medium back strap on here um, you know it's not bad I could I can I can work with this I can go to work with this you know Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> um, the, I don't know what it is, but on this Lipsy's gun, the black looks really dark. Maybe it's just because it's a contrast. Um, I don't think they did anything with the barrel and with the extractor, but the barrel and the extractor look like an extra deep black color to me. Uh, but that's probably just me, and I could be wrong on that. So there it is, guys. There's some close-ups. I always love to do this because... Um, uh, I think people that click on this video or find this video are people that's thinking about purchasing this. And one of the things that uh, that really that really always helps me when I look at a gun review that I'm thinking about getting if the guy shows it up close and in detail because at the gun store you just can't do it like that, you know, with the gun store guy looking over your shoulder. So <laughs> there it is, guys. All right, guys. Well. Hey, I hope everyone has a great weekend. I'm going to try to get more videos. I've got more content. Trust me, i got more content. Um, it's just getting, getting everything rolling with getting these videos up. All right, guys, until next time, have a great weekend, and I'll talk to you all real soon. And I'm out.